Hello everybody and welcome back to the Ant Holofer YouTube channel. Today we are looking at my newest court queen, my new Laceous Philigonosus queen. And this is a parasitic queen, meaning I now have to go out and get some host workers and some host brood. And let's just see how it goes. So this is my new Laceous Philigonosus queen. Now I already now want to say I'm sorry if I mispronounced this. I think Laceous Philigonosus is, uh, yeah, yeah, it's respectable and that's what I'm gonna say. But yeah, this is my parasitic queen. She's a real beauty and she doesn't like being in a test tube at all. As you can see, she is currently just searching for a way out without knowing that she is totally stuck. Now, what do you do if you have a parasitic queen? Well, she needs some host workers and some host brood. Now, I read that it was really important to get some workers right away so she could feed her, but the brood could wait. And the reason it could wait in my eyes was that I didn't currently know where I had a niger nest. So therefore, I started by introducing some workers. So I grabbed five workers from an ant nest and just connected them up with a test tube. And as you can see, the queen is just running back and forwards so quick. And this queen is just amazingly quick to look at. This is not sped up or anything. And compared to the four workers that are just currently in the right test tube, nothing is happening. But already now she is making quite a lot of contact with the one worker that is over with her. But it's just crazy to see how quick she is just running back and forward. And here you can see my try of recording her running back and forward, but it's just really hard because she's just, yeah, really quick and just, yeah, it's just really hard to record her. But as you can see, the workers are definitely not happy with her in her test tube. And she's definitely not happy with the workers in her test tube. She's trying to run away, but there's just no way to run away too, because, well, it's a test tube. The thing is, a lot of times the workers actually get her and start biting her and start dragging her. And it doesn't really seem to affect her that much. Now, I was told that it would help if I put the workers in a fridge. So these workers have been in a fridge for around 30 minutes, just to give them a little chill. And well, this did not work at all. You can just see how aggressive all the workers are towards her, biting her, trying to drag her. They're definitely not happy with her in their nest. And the reason they probably react this aggressive is due to me taking some nest dirt with me. So they think this queen is actually inside their nest, rather than they both are in a neutral place without any scent. But I have that dirt in here and therefore the workers are quite a lot more defensive because they see this queen as a danger to the colony, without knowing that they are not together with the colony. Anyway, this would probably happen either way if I had dirt in here or not, but I do still think this makes everything a little bit worse. But all of this was just truly horrific to stand here and look at. I was expecting a lot more of a calm reaction, but no, that was not what I was getting. She had a moment of calmness where she could walk a little bit away and back again. And it almost seemed for a second that it was going good, but no, the workers were straight back biting her, trying to kill her. Once again, she had a moment of peace, but this moment of peace did not last long. It was a really long day both for the workers and for the queen with this back and forward war. And to be honest, I didn't know what to do, so I just decided to let them be alone and just wait. So wait is what I did. Now the next day one of the workers had been killed, but I was expecting this as a parasitic queen normally kills a worker to get the scent and put it all over her body. And this was exactly what probably happened during the night. But the conclusion was that they were now all together in the same test tube and they were not constantly attacking each other. Now, with the workers being together with the queen in peace, I decided to go out and look for brood and brood was what I found. I found all of these pupae from Alasia's Niger colony and straight away the workers were really interested to seeing what had happened because now there were a new scent once again. This time no workers, just pupae, but I found it really quite interesting seeing how the workers reacted to this pupae. Now, while I show this in the background, I'm gonna tell a little bit about how I found this. I was out flipping some rocks and didn't really see anything. And then I found a construction cone. And the construction cone is what you use to 
show where people are not supposed to go. And under that construction cone, there was just a giant Lacius Niger colony. And that was just perfect for me because I could just go down and take some pupae and put the construction cone back again without really disturbing the nest that much. Of course, I still disturbed them quite a lot, but I found this way better in my eyes than going out digging a wild colony because I just, I, I, I don't know, I was out with a shovel, but I just, it's, it's too much against my ethics. So therefore I was quite happy when I found a colony under a construction cone. But as you can see, the workers are quite interested in this new brood pile. Although the queen have not been overlooking at it just yet. And talking about the queen, she finally decided to go over towards the new test tube, but she was really cautious. And that makes sense after now there's a new smell in her home after last week where she got a whole bunch of workers and now there's a new scent once again. So it did make sense that she was quite careful and it was so careful that she just ended up not really going into the tube at all. Around 30 minutes later, I once again checked on them and I could see that all of the workers had now moved over together with the queen to the brood pile, which was just amazing. But with the workers being really cautious that this new scent is inside the home, they were a little bit biting towards the queen again and a little bit threatened by the queen. But I didn't really see any attacking, I just saw a lot of caution both from the queen and from the workers. But this makes sense because, well, they have a new scent in their home and maybe there's an enemy inside their home. There wasn't because, well, I just gave them brood, but there could as well have been workers with them and that would not have been too good. But as you can see, the queen now seemed fairly happy with all of this brood. And this was just perfect for me because it meant that I could just close it all off and put it away without really feeling too bad and having my hopes quite high. And oh boy, four weeks later, we now have an entire Lacius Niger colony. I don't know how many workers there are inside, I guess around maybe 50 workers. And as you can see, that gas is quite full. This is because I've been feeding both the queen and the workers with honey and protein just to help boost the development and make the queen lay eggs. And as you can see, under the queen, we actually have a nice egg pile. This was so wonderful to look at because I was really scared that she would just die like my Umbratus last year. As some of you may recall, the queen last year also helped enclose all the workers, but then she just died. But now we have a real nice brood pile. Now I've been told online that the reason you normally go Lacius Niger, Lacius Umbratus and then Lacius Fuliginosus is the Lacius Niger workers may not be able to take care of these Lacius Fuliginosus eggs. This is still a possibility. I hope not, but there is still a chance that these eggs won't hatch because the workers don't know how to take care of it. But I mean, we are getting closer and closer to larvae stage, so I have really high hopes. And I'm just really happy to look at all of this. The queen also now has finally started to settle a little bit down. Whenever I look at the colony, they just all go crazy. And therefore, I had a really big struggle making them move from one test tube to another. I really had to do it in small steps, only letting one centimeter of the old nest get light, but then they slowly just moved and I just pushed them one centimeter a day and I finally got them to move into the new test tube. And in the new test tube I had this cork splitter, so now I could feed them a bit more easily. But this colony is so aggressive towards me, so I will have to give them a mini outworld really soon because I just can't feed them. Also, if all of these eggs starts to hatch into larvae and then the larvae starts to hatch into pupae and then we have Lacius foliginosus workers, that would just be amazing. But then they would also need a new test tube because, well, this is definitely not big enough for them. But as you can hear, I am quite happy and that's just because I'm looking at this egg pile and I'm just so amazed. And that is because everything just looks so bright right now. The workers' casters are filled. The queen is not stressing all over the place. We have eggs. It's completely amazing to look at. And I just hope, hope that these eggs will turn into workers. But you know, only time will tell. Next time I may look at the colony, the queen may just be dead because yeah, that's what happened last year and the year before with my Umbratus queens. But only time will tell. I have really high hopes and I'm just wishing the best of luck to this colony. Like I said, there is still a chance that the workers are not able to take care of the brood. 
That is why normally you say that the Lacius Knight workers should be given to a Lacius Impressus Queen, because then the Impressus workers and Knight workers can work together, and then you can take the Impressus workers with the Foligonosis workers, and I, I'm not sure about all of this. It may just be people online having tested their things, and that has been going good and bad, but you know, this is a little experiment, I guess. Will Lacius Knight workers be able to co-op with Alasia's Philogonosis Queen and her ex. Maybe yes, maybe no, only time will tell. But like I said before, I have also been feeding the colony quite nicely. I have just been giving them three frozen flies and half a chopped up mealworm every Sunday. And well, the colony is really happy about it. And of course, I've also given them some sunburst as a sugar sauce. And so far, so good. That's just what I want to say. It will be really exciting to follow the journey of the larvae and the eggs, and I'm just hoping that these eggs will turn into workers. And I know I've just repeated myself so many times, but it's because, I don't know, you just get a special bond to a queen that you go out and do so much work for. Get workers. Look at the queen, fight the workers. Go out. Find brood. Give the brood. Follow the brood hatch. Follow the queen's egg laying, seeing the queen's finally laying eggs, and now just waiting. I'm just looking forward to seeing how everything will turn out. Hopefully, it is for the better. And yeah, hello first. That has been the end of this video. I'm really excited for this colony, if you couldn't tell by the video where I also said I'm really excited. Leave your thoughts about this in the comments down below. But let's not end the video just yet because thank you to my YouTube members. A special thank you to Wakushi, Half Fluffer, and Medical Car. I'm gonna have to say this completely correct. Me medical Car Case Number Nine. Either way, you can read it yourself and judge how you say it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Become a member today, if you like. And I'll see you all in another video. Bye!